Tim, or Tamara, Clark. Uh, but we are the, uh, I think we have 35 people on our RSVP list, and we got enough chairs, but maybe they're all still in Malibu. Or else. So, but thank you for making the effort to come. Um, I think I've now met everybody, and everybody except this panel is a uh, new face, so that's kind of fun. Um, just to give you just a brief history of the gallery, which I think leads quite um, normally to the point where we are today. Um, I've been in business in Beverly Hills since 86, but this location is a new location. Historically, we're modern dealers, modern and contemporary dealers. And Paul's work is uh, what I think is the most contemporary of that we represent because of the media and the technology and the, the wealth of information that Paul brings to this media. Um, the relationship really is going to discuss contemporary, so it's all his responsibility, opportunity, fault, and uh, <laughs> joy that we are here and to have a relationship with Paul. So it's really, really good. Um, Bryce, and the way our group is so small, give us all of an opportunity to really participate. We really just have a discussion more than a lecture format. So um, we do still have lots of liquids if you want one, but the bathroom is up on Lewis Santa Monica down 14 blocks. <laughs> next door. So please, Bryce and Strauss.
written about, uh, I think, 15 narratives, maybe 30. Bryce and will attest to that, because I send them every single one. And uh, this is a fourth dimensional production, and this is the kind of work that I've done for over 25 years. And the amazing thing, I have an apprentice, just to start off with, with uh, you know, a little anecdote. He, he uh, um, is in the Cooper Union. He worked with me for seven years. Some of you know Shane Kennedy, but um, Shane is now in the Cooper Union studying on a full ride. He's one of the top 60 students in the world in art. You know, I'm proud of him. And, uh, um, He told me, we were talking the other day, and he said that uh, they're starting a 4D design, and it's been a long time coming. I call myself a, a, a 4D artist in 1983. So uh, it, it was a weird feeling to come here, and then watch it unfold in front of my eyes. Experience um, as an artist. Uh, but I think that this is a question more of perception than it is a question only of art. And so the narrative that I'm going to be talking about here briefly to start, start off this discussion is the, a, a fourth dimensional narrative. And so what, there's a lot of homework if you want to do it. Because every bit of those narratives that I sent to Bryson and to the gallery and to anyone who else, anyone else who would want it to look, because one of the, the, and this is a rule, this is an axiom rule, so I'll give these all along, you know, while I'm talking over the next few minutes. And that is everything is transparent in this production. Everything. You can find out exactly every aspect in detail, how it was made, what the, the, the technicals are, what the specs are, and even what's going on in my head at the time. But you know what? You're going to have a really hard time finding that narrative if you're looking for it. And that's why the title of this is the narrative. So because you people are the most impressive people in all of Los Angeles to come here to, to, to this talk, I'm going to tell you the secrets of this show. And only you guys, you have to swear to God, you'll never tell anyone else. That it really is kind of a secret. And uh, um, so what I'll, what I'll do is tell you that secret right now. In the back row of the island, okay. Where the Benny's check her out, you know, that's the time. And uh, uh, the, the image, and the, I have everything I'm telling you is in a, in a uh, software program right here on a, on a disc that I can hand to any of you guys when I'm done talking. You want to put this all on the web too. So just to give you a sense of the breadth of what we're, what we're dealing with, it's not just these images in this of, of uh, digital art, but especially fourth dimensional art. And it's a flat world. It's a flat world. Uh, Rex was just talking about, uh, you know, um, well, Rex was just talking about all the different constituencies and communities and stakeholders and people that he works with that, that and that was all apparent when you had your festival, correct? I mean, there was a group of galleries, and you were all connected in a match with the company was involved. There were all these people involved. It's, that's flat. The terminology for that is flat. It's a horizontal uh, network. Um, and so uh, one of the things that makes that possible is the internet. Okay? And that's probably the main thing I think I'm getting great. That's how I was Yeah. Bigger than Pompey Pompey. We saw your website. Exactly. So we'll talk about, you know, we'll, we'll definitely have to have you talk about that because that's one of the most important aspects of this. And if you were following the development of this show, this production, if you got an email early on in the production process, today over the last three and a half months, really the last nine months, as I built this show. Because every day almost I did something for this show. Uh, open and, and we got closer and closer to the day that we opened this show. The book had, boy, by the time it was over, there's over 35,000 images on my website. Okay? And and probably there are about 8,000 of them from the first of this year until now. Yes. By transparency, do you mean like as 
they were working close to, you know, each fish, uh, version until as that piece was being That's exactly what I'm saying. In fact, we have five invites for this show because the narrative changed. It was exactly that all those shows exist at the same time in this space, which is not just this physical space, this is the brick and mortar architecture for this show called Content 5. Okay? The real show exists not only here, um, here. Well, but also up here. That's what I get out of this. But it also exists in binary code spread across the ether on a lot of people's computers because people, tens of thousands of people look at my website from the world. They print it out, they put it on their desktops, they put it in their own artwork sometimes. Um, so not only does it exist here, there's a virtual space for it on the, on the web, but also in the network of computers that the web connects to from my computer.